I made a video a long time ago about this, uh, kind of uh, a little bit like what I'm going to talk about, which is what a lot of people uh, know, you know, they know as going down and up when they hit the ball in order to keep it, you know, put spin on it and play, uh, keep it in play. Even though there are uh, videos out there where they say it's not good to hit the ball down and up and um, that's if that was true you will never see the players using it so just like be careful out there because there is a lot of videos on YouTube with the the secret and the myth and why this doesn't work and 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 busted and all that usually in the titles that's a lot of that stuff is just bullshit that they're just rephrasing you know but anyways I have a uh, I'm teaching a guy that is probably like a 3035 he used to play time ago but he stopped for a while and then he's been starting again we'll be starting again and one thing that I have been working a lot with him is uh, you know teaching him how to control the ball according to the depth of the incoming shot um, he was thinking of, he was asking me about okay how much power do I want to put on the shot and all that say well you know you want to learn this one of the things that many times we one of the things that many times we don't we don't pay attention to we don't think about it or we don't learn to do is to read actually read the incoming shot uh for those of you that have been following me for a while you know i always talk about okay you make you, when you read your you make the shot you hit the ball you want to read read it right away the depth of your shot and the damage. You usually hit the ball and have a pretty good idea where your shot is going, how deep it's going to be. And then you see your shot, you see the your opponent's body uh, body talk, and he's, that's going to give you the, that's pretty much the, um, that's going to let you know if your shot is, is hurting him, how much is hurting him. And that's also uh, the key for the anticipation. That's what's going to uh, tell you if he's, he's going to have trouble so you can start kind of getting ready for the incoming shot, have an idea what's coming. So anyways, you hit the shot, you read your shot, you read your, your opponent's body talk first, and then you read his shot, okay? And when that, you see that ball coming, one thing, that you, um, one thing that is good to work purposefully when you're training, I, I would say, is go out there and hit with your partners, hit with, your, with a friend, and pay attention to the shot, the incoming shot, it's, it's all above the net, or, or it's from uh, below, you know, from, from the net level or, or below. And you're gonna put attention to how much spin you wanna put to the shot. Um, you, um, in order to put attention to that, what, one thing that you can do is like thinking, okay, when we have, when we, if, if we're standing, if we're standing on the court and, 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 I, and we have like a shot that is kinda like mid court, pretty high, you know, above the net, that is a shot that we can easily go and say, okay, you know, we'll go, you can go 70, 80, 90 percent, depending on, 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 you know, how easy is that shot. So, you use percentages and remind them in your head every time you hit it. When you say, okay, this is a this is a slice that is coming fast, it's coming low, it's not gonna pick up. So I'm just gonna go like 20 percent of speed on that shot, and 30 percent on the next one, 40 percent on the next one, and then and then the next incoming shot is an easier one that is that that is coming much higher. So I can put probably 60 or 90 percent. So use the percentages just just as a tool that is going to help you um, control the speed the spin of the ball it mo it's mostly that that that's what's going to control is there is, is that down and up roller coaster that i like to call it you know so use a use a percentage what kind of this incoming shot how much percentage of power can i put on that shot okay and that's one thing that it can it can help you it it becomes kind of an uh, it turns end up being like an automatic thing in your head when you see the shots coming and, and you start reacting to how much how much you're gonna do with what's uh with, with with what is coming and uh and the other thing that i wanted to talk about is uh something that i this is this is on my personal experience but i've seen this a lot and i think it happens at uh, all levels of the game i've seen it on juniors i've seen it on seniors i've seen it i mean everyone and it happens on and off the court which is um put in a if i have to put it in a sentence to make it just e easy to understand is like when you're when you're playing someone that is really good and you kind of feel like you don't have the chance to be the guy and you you're kind of quitting or half trying I always say quitting is not something that happens spontaneously. It's not something in the moment. It's usually something that you have been 
kind of you, you you have been cooking in your mind for a while before you finally say you know what I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna let this go and I'm gonna give it up so that's one thing that what I mean with what, what I wanted to talk about that is just pay attention to what's going on in your head when you're playing pay attention to what, what you're thinking uh, because the moment you start you, you pay attention the moment you start immediately you start cooking the idea of giving up because the other guy is too good or something it never it usually it's something that doesn't happen momentarily guys um, unless it's a guy that you just it's the first time that you play him and you just find out that the guy is really good well you still figure you still take a little bit to analyze the guy's game and say okay I you know there's not much I can do here but pay attention to that because many times you you're, you're repeating you you're playing another match with someone that has beaten you before and you already kind of giving up the moment you set foot on the court so pay attention to that just remember Quitting is not something that we do in the moment. It's usually something that we, it's an idea, it's a, it's a perception, sometimes it's a self-perception. Sometimes we're quitting things that we have even, you haven't even really done before enough to say, okay, I have no chance with this, or I have no chance with this guy, or I have no chance of making that shot, or I have no chance of getting to that shot, you know? So pay it, pay it. That, that it just goes back to paying attention the way you're thinking, and you gotta be conscious because it's, it's been proven by science that 90% of the thoughts that we have throughout our day, one day, it 95% is just in automatic. It's uh, it's it's our subconscious mind just repeating the same thing that we've done over and over the day before, the week before, the month before, the year before, and many times the decades um, before. You know, so um, pay attention to the percentage on the shots when you're playing practice purposefully and also be purposeful be conscious paying attention to what how is whatever you're doing in the court how is that building up we usually whether it's quitting whether it's half trying or doing something else it's usually something that starts little by little it can take a matter of minutes if you go like super fast and say you know what never mind i don't want to do deal with this but if you're conscious about it sometimes you can catch it in the very beginning and start doing something about it changing it Okay, all right, guys. Well, it's really good being back with you. Uh, let me know questions, suggestions, and just, you know, as always, as I always say, go out there, be bold, be centered, and be perseverant. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.